Okay, uh, Aisha's question is clear. Uh, they're asking about the regulations that their country is placing regarding the COVID-19 virus, known as coronavirus. But again, we've said this before, corona is the family. And there are lots of members of this family, uh, like MERS and, and, and SARS and uh, the normal flu, etc. All of these are considered to be part of the coronavirus. And the current one is called uh, uh, COVID-19. So some countries, Islamic countries, have regulated things that may be shocking. Some Islamic countries prohibited praying in the masjid, canceled Jum'ah uh, uh, prayer in their masjid. Now, we are ordered to obey the Muslim ruler. And so many people are objecting. Why are they doing this? Why are they doing that? This is illogical. This Okay, those who are speaking like that, are they talking out of a medical background, or they're just enthusiastic and just wanting to vent. Most of them are not medical experts. So they are complaining. They're pointing their fingers. It's a conspiracy. They don't want Islam to prevail. They don't want us to pray in the masjid. Akhi, a'udhu billah. Those Muslims who gave that instruction they run a country. They're not running a company. They're not running a house with their family members. They have a huge country to run and a huge responsibility to protect the people, whether they are locals or expats. So the responsibility lies on their shoulders. When they take such an executive decision, it might be right and it might be wrong. And I hope this is something we agree upon. If it is right, they're rewarded twice for that as per the hadith. al hakim. And if they were wrong in such a decision, Allah would reward them once because they did their best. It was wrong, but they did their best. So. Islamic countries, when they come with such executive decisions that may shock us, maybe not something that we like, we have to understand that they have a different pay grade than ours. The responsibility on them is far greater than ours. Therefore, we have to comply whether we like it or not, because this is wali al-amr, who came up with this out of his own ishtihad. Now, when we go to non-Muslim countries, though they're not wali al-amr per se, but again, we have to obey the laws of the country. They didn't tell you not to pray. They told you to pray in your home. They didn't tell you that we will close the mosques indefinitely. And we know that the virus was spread in South Korea. The hardest hit area was in a church that had a congregation of 200,000 plus. And they did not declare it. And they kept on spreading it in the whole country from that church. So don't be impulsive. Don't think with your emotions instead of thinking rationally. If you are told to follow certain procedures, and this is for the protection of your family and all those around you in the community, and inshallah, it will be only for three or four weeks until it's totally contained, because such pandemics are usually seasonal. They come and all of a sudden they disappear, they go away. You have Zika, you have Mars, MERS, you have uh, uh, SARS, you have whatever. It comes and goes, sometimes without any vaccine. And that's why they may not even develop a vaccine. 
because it's too expensive for them. Greedy. Pharmaceutical companies are always like this. So I believe that we should abide by what our medical authorities are advising us. It is always best to be safe rather than, to, than be sorry. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.